Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am Marina and I film about one to two times a week. I like to post new videos on Tuesdays and a bonus video on Thursday. I do like to do some weekly vlogs and stuff, but mainly I like to do reviews and just um, things on different products or things I'm loving at the moment. So, but yeah, so let's just get right into it. I am going to be talking about my purchase of the Tory Burch sandals. So I recently purchased them in May, so it's been about two to three months now that I've had them. I did end up splurging on them because my husband was like, you deserve it, you've had some money saved up, and he actually gave me some money for me working with him all the time. I decided, why not? We were at the store, I saw them, they had my size, they had the one that I wanted, and I had been eyeing them for such a long time, like I would say two solid years I have been wanting them. Like I said, I went to the Tory Burch store. I had the full on experience of getting my Tory Burch sandals there and they were super, super sweet in the store. Um, I never felt like it was stuffy. Like I feel sometimes like when you go to high end places like Louie or Gucci that you kind of feel like, um, I don't know, like not welcomed or sometimes like overlooked if you don't have a certain look if you know what I mean but I didn't feel that way at all inside of Tory Burch it was really really a great experience there um and this is this nice little box that I got it in I got mine in the size 7 and the Miller pattern in the color sand I chose this color because it was so neutral and it goes with everything I was so torn between this color and like a darker brown that's like more like a rich brown. I was so torn because I have a purse from Toy Birch that is very similar in color to that and I felt like, oh, it would go so great. I always love wearing sandals that color. They're so neutral. Again, they're perfect for any time of the year here in Florida. Like, you can wear sandals pretty much all year long. So for me, it's an investment, but it's also a staple piece in your closet. So I was really torn. And then I ended up talking to the sales associate and she said the one that's not patent does show a lot more wear super super quickly like you can see the footprints you can see whenever you like have like a little skid mark on them like from the walking like it'll get scratched up in the front so she said it does show a lot more wear and tear more often than the patent so she said but if you are wearing the patent in the rain you can easily slip which most of the time I am not going to wear a high-end sandal in the rain because I just don't want it to get messed up. So I knew that wouldn't be a problem too much for me. So I ended up going with the sand color. And I don't regret the sand color at all. I get a lot of compliments on the sand color. So these are my shoes. Let me see if I can show them. They are in the sand and they are the patent leather. I just feel like these shoes are so, so pretty. Honestly, I haven't found anything that they don't go with because they're so neutral and um, they can be casual or dressy, which is what I really like. And I have worn these so much within the past two months. Like, I have to like forcefully tell myself, okay, don't wear the sandals today or like wear something else and switch it up, you know, just so they can last a lot longer and not like get worn down. Like, in six months I'm not sure if that's true or not with these sandals because they're really really built really great and like sturdy and like you can tell that they're a quality sandal but at the same time I also don't want to like overuse them where they just look ratty you know so I want these to be like my dressy like for the weekend going out looking nice like a nice addition to my outfit so that's how I've been wearing them. I love the little gold detailing here and then here. At first, I do have to say I'm going to put them down. I don't want to hold them the whole time. I do have to say, at first, I was a little disappointed because they were a little uncomfortable. Like, I had to break them in. And I do find that happens sometimes with the sandals that go in between your toe. Like, sometimes with patent, they can be a little bit uncomfortable. But now that I've broken them in, I honestly have no problems with them at all. I can wear them all day long and I don't have that problem of my like inside of my toe being like sore or tired or just like irritated. I never heard anyone say that about them so that's why I'm warning you guys. I'm not sure if that's just my feet or any el anybody else's experienced that as well. But I'm just giving you my experience with them. 
Okay, so these sandals are $198. So I had waited about two years to see if they ever put them on sale. Nowhere had a sale for these Tory Burch sandals. The second I purchased these sandals, the next day I saw a blogger post, Tory Burch sandals for 30% off and I was like, really? Like I just purchased my full price. But it was only select colors and it was not the color that I had purchased and they didn't have hardly any sizes left in the other colors that were like a neutral. I think the only neutral was the black color and they had only bigger sizes. So I felt a little bit better about that. Like, okay, they didn't put my color on sale and um, I just felt like, oh my gosh, like I waited all this time and they finally had one sale for them. It kind of just dropped my heart for a little bit, but they normally don't go on sale, so if you do see a sale, I would say scoop them up. Like, if you can save yourself some money, definitely do it. I don't know if I could see myself repurchasing another sandal at that price. I mean, $200 for a sandal, that is so much money for me personally that I really, like, I was like, Ugh. like, I was going back and forth. Like, I told my husband, should I get them? Should I not? Should I get them? He's like, just get them. You've been wanting them for such a long time. It'll be like kind of part of your birthday gift. So I was like, okay, I'll get them. So I got them and I'm so happy that I did get them. They're such a classic piece in my wardrobe that I can use so much. So the one thing I have to say is whenever you're buying a luxury brand or a luxury piece, keep in mind, like for me personally, if I'm going to buy something that's more expensive and something that I feel like oh my gosh like I'm thinking twice about buying I definitely think how can I wear it how often will I wear it is it something that's just too trendy that's gonna go out of style that in a year or two it might be just like overplayed I mean these might be overplayed probably by now because I waited so long on them but if I would have got them from the beginning I would have been even happier because I would have used them for so long I've had my eye on like higher end pieces and I'm like I feel like I want to make the purchase but it could be something that's just too trendy right now at the moment and then in a year from now it might just be done and over with so for example right now I have been like eyeing the Gucci belt for such a long time now um, just because I'm like oh my gosh I just feel like it really elevates your outfits you can wear it so much like I like accessory pieces, not so much like a clothing piece that's expensive, but more an accessory piece because you can wear it so many times and no one's going to be like, oh my gosh, she's wearing that piece again versus a piece of clothing. I feel like you can't wear a piece of clothing so, so much as a girl because it's more obvious, but an accessory is something that you can wear over and over and over again. And it's just, especially if it's a classic piece, you can never... Like it'll never go out of style. So if you are gonna buy something more luxury, I recommend buying something that's a classic piece that's not gonna go out of style. Do I think the Tory Burch sandals are a must? No, they're not. I mean, with any luxury piece, they're not really a must, but I definitely think it's a great addition to my shoe collection. I love them. I feel like I get so much use out of them. I don't regret it at all now. I wish I had gotten them sooner. Will I probably repurchase? Probably not. Like, I think I'll be fine with just these. I talked about that with a friend. Like, would you repurchase if, like, something happened to these? And one of my friends, a dog, her dog ate her shoe, and she was like, I just can't see myself spending that much again. You know, my dog chewed them up. So I'm like, I get it. Like, it, they are pricey. So that definitely is a factor but if you got it as a sweet like valentine's christmas or birthday present it would just mean so much like it's such a thoughtful thing to give so i think it would have a lot of meaning and be so sweet because it's something you don't necessarily want to splurge on yourself for that you've worked so hard for your money but it's definitely something that's like so cool to receive or it would be a great gift if you want to go in with like somebody and like splurge on that for them so yeah so i feel like i babbled a lot on this video but i am so sorry but i just wanted to give you guys my actual opinion on what i thought of the Tory Burch sandals are they worth it are they not i definitely for me feel they are worth it and they are worth every single penny i feel like i am going to wear these down so much like i'm going to get my money's worth out of these sandals like you know how they say do it where it's cost per wear. I definitely feel like I'm already getting a lot out of my 
like wear so I feel like it's not as pricey if you think about it in that way so yeah I hope you guys enjoy these type of videos and if you are new to my channel and this is your first time here put a little like comment of a little yellow heart down below so that way I know you're new so I can say hi to you and welcome you to my channel I definitely try to respond to everyone's comments that do comment on my videos so I do like it whenever I know if there's new people coming um, to this channel. So yeah, I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you guys later. Bye!